G'day kids, here we are today at the National Dinosaur Museum. Now this place is absolutely amazing. There is so many dinosaurs to check out, but today we're gonna to focus on carnivores. Now can you help me out? What is a carnivore? That's right, it's a meat eater. Now meat eaters or carnivores usually have lots of big teeth. Speaking of big, sharp teeth, at that, we have got to go through that to get to the other dinosaurs. So can you help me be brave and walk through? Go on kids, let's go check it out. Check this one out kids, this is a Spinosaurus and it got its name from this awesome looking spine on its back which is made up of bones covered by skin. I can tell you it is one mean looking dinosaur. It is the biggest carnivore that ever lived, much bigger than the T-Rex. This guy could get up to 18 meters. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't like to come face to face with this guy. Check this out kids, I'm inside the mouth of a Carnotaurus. Big, sharp teeth. I'm glad this one's not real. Check this one out kids, this is a Megalania. It's six meters long and it was Australia's number one predator in the time of the mammals, which is about 10 million years ago. So come on in and let's see what animals we can find. Of course we're going to see lots of dinosaurs, but there's going to be lots of other animals too. Now to be a dinosaur it needs three things. It needs to have straight legs, it needs to have scales, and it also needs to lay an egg. So let's go and see what kind of dinosaurs we can find. Now kids, obviously there's no dinosaurs that live anymore. They lived millions and millions of years ago. But there are three main periods that the dinosaurs lived. Now the first one, I found this awesome little sign just here, is the Triassic period. And that's from like 250 to 200 million years ago. So just a little bit older than mum and dad. Then the second period is the Jurassic period. And that is from 200 to 145 million years ago. Still a very, very long time ago. And then the third and the more recent one is the Cretaceous period but that's still 145 to 65 million years ago. So a super, super long time ago. Now kids, I'm standing right here in the mouth of a Megalodon, which just like the sound of its name, it is mega big. It is the biggest shark that ever lived. This one can grow up to 13 to 15 meters long, which is the size of a school bus. Now you might be wondering what I'm holding here. This is a fossil of a megalodon tooth. Now the interesting thing about the teeth of megalodon, just like dinosaurs, they can grow back, but they don't grow back one at a time. They grow back in sets or rows. So if a megalodon was to lose a couple of teeth from the front row, that whole front row would fall out, then this next row would move forward, and then this next row would move forward, and then the next row would grow. So they'd have four sets of teeth at once. They are massive. And the last ones died off about three million years ago, which is a very long time ago, we know that. And one thing we also know is that these guys were definitely carnivores because they, they used to snack on whales.
Now kids, this dinosaur here has to be one of my favorite Australian dinosaurs. It's actually called an Australovanator. Now, it is an awesome looking dinosaur. It can grow up to five meters long, two meters tall, but unlike other carnivores, like T-Rexes and, and other things, it doesn't use its mouth and its teeth to kill. It actually uses its claws. It has three claws on each hand and the longest claws can grow up to 20 centimeters long. And those claws, they're made out of the same material that our fingernails are made out of. How awesome is that? Now this Australovanator is the Australian version of the Megaraptor. It has more deadly looking features and sharper claws than the more commonly known Velociraptor it can run up to 20 k's an hour and it is a very impressive Australian dinosaur so make sure you come and check this one out. Now check this one out kids, this one is called a Carnotaurus. You might think it looks a little bit similar to a T-Rex, it does but there are two main differences. If you have a look up there on its head it has two big horns and then check out these arms. You thought the T-Rex had little arms, the Carnotaurus has absolutely tiny arms. This one is called a Dinosuchus. It is absolutely massive. Look at the size of the head compared to the little crocodile back there. So they can grow up to about 10 meters long, which is about seven or eight times the length of this. Now, fun fact is that these guys would eat other dinosaurs that were silly enough to come down and take a drink in the water without paying attention to what's inside the water. All right, kids, this is the section that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, the T-Rex section. Certainly one of my favorite dinosaurs. Now, here's some fun facts that you might not have known. T-Rexes don't actually make a loud roar noise that I'm sure most of you think they do. They actually make a low-pitched sound. Now, another fun fact that you might not have known is that T-Rexes have feathers running the length of their spine from the back of their head all the way down their tail. Now we're very lucky here today at the National Dinosaur Museum. I've got Nicole joining me and she is actually going to let Ozzy hold a real life T-Rex tooth. It's pretty cool. It's about 65 million years old. 65 million years yeah, old. So and is that why, on. that's why we need to wear that's these fancy wear gloves? gloves? We've got to be very, very, very protective of it. Now, this is the real one, but this is actually a replica. But in fact, it's only a little bit of it. So this is the bit you can see from the mouth and then underneath in the gum, you've actually got all of that. So, you ready? I am ready. 65 million years old, don't drop it. I certainly will take very good care of that. Thank you, Nicole. Now check that out, kids. As Nicole said, 65 million years old. And can you believe that this used to sit in the mouth of an actual T-Rex? Now we've seen some T-Rexes inside kids, but check out this girl behind me. She is absolutely monstrous. All I can say is that I'm pretty glad she's not alive today. Wow kids, what an incredible place this is. The National Dinosaur Museum right here in Canberra. If you ever get the chance, I definitely recommend you come and check it out. Hopefully you've learned lots today about dinosaurs and all the other animals. I've really loved teaching you lots of things. Kids, we'll see you on our next video. Until then, Stay keen and stay away from those carnivores. G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend 